Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Hope you're all safe and well. As you can see before you, you have the Arrows Hobby 50mm EDF T33. Oh, I love this aircraft, the T33. I had a Kyosha one many, many years ago, completely underpowered, used brush motors, whacking great big NICAD batteries. In fact, they had NICADs and then we went to, to nickel metal hydride batteries. They were the best technology of the day. But now I've got this, as you can see, hasn't got many parts. A canopy, which of course is detachable so you can get at your electronics. Main wing, which is all one piece, servos already in it, push rods connected, horns connected, everything's good to go. The only thing that you have to do on the wing is glue the right and left wing tanks on. The wing tanks are there, two of them. Now they've got these holes drilled in them. Five in the front and four in the back. The only thing I can think that's for is reduced weight. In other words, instead of having a hollow foam shell, they've made a solid foam shell and just drilled some holes out to take some weight away. Then you've got your tailplane, your horizontal stabiliser and elevator. Of course on the main wing you've got your ailerons. There's no rudder on this, so as you look at the fuselage, it is basically just a fuselage and fin. The rudder is non-operational. Now I am still waiting for an AR410 receiver for it. I ordered it a while back, but there seems to be a shortage of them here in the UK. Now I don't know whether that's because we don't have any truck drivers or what. Seriously, I'm not putting an AR620 in here, it'd just be complete overkill. No stabiliser, no vector unit in this, because we're in the UK, we don't get one. Let's get it put together. I've connected the push rods to the horns as they were. I just had to twist one to fit. They're both slightly down. This is down and this one is down uh, more than this other one. All I'm going to do is to release the two push rods from the servo arm here. You need a 1.5 millimeter hex wrench to do that. I'm just going to level them up. Job done. One of my viewers known as Monty asked about this set that I've got. Basically what it is, these are all aluminium. 
it's a Phillips screwdriver, flat blade screwdriver, and then all the rest are hex drivers going from 3mm down to 1.5mm, oh, and there's also a socket. This is an additional item I purchased separately, happens to be the same colour, and it matches as part of the set. And this is a prop reamer for the hole in the middle of a prop. The other items on here, you've got a pair of pliers, a pair of snippers, and this here is a ball link pliers. It's for putting on ball links and taking ball links off. And that's it, that's the set. I got it from eBay, about eight pounds that cost. I thought it was real good value. They're quite good quality. Oh, that's a 2.5. Quite a handy set to have. So these are now level here. What I haven't done of course is check that the servo is centred. So I still might have to release this and reset them once I've centred the servo. Here's the fuel tank. They are keyed. So you can't get them wrong. As they're not going to be taking any strain or stress really, I'm not going to bother clearing paint away from here. I'm just going to put foam tack in there and whack them together. Okay, while they're drying, I just wanted to point out something I've done here. This was another cockpit, a bit like the BEA Hawk, where they just put grey all over it. And I think just by adding some black lining that follows the moulded lines, it just makes it look a little bit better. And this was in black paint, this was just a Sharpie. Just going over with the Sharpie, and that was it. What I'll be doing is Setting up the CRG with this 1.3 Nanotech, the same one I used in the Hawk. Also this 2.2 70C Discharge Nanotech, I'll be using that. These, I purchased these. These are 1500 milliamp hours, you can see. 3S 45C Discharge. I've got two of those. I will also be setting those up in here for CMG. So I'll have the choice of three battery types. Four small screws are needed to hold the wing on. Exactly the same as the Hawk. Also, Arrows Hobbies have provided the Y lead. Now this Y lead, I didn't mention it on the Hawk, but it has the little clip things here, which are fantastic. Because once that's clipped in, it is not going anywhere. That's a lovely fit. Thing with these screws, they've got little holes in here where you drop them down and then you have to bed them in. And they are screwing into these little plastic bits here, they're tiny. Let me take that out and show you that. This front piece here, that's where the hole is, that's the hole. And on the back saddle, here, that's the hole. The reason you can have problems 
in lining these up is because there is movement at this stage. So I think it's important to get at least one in at the back and then one in at the front. And we should be okay. So let's give it a go. Okay, this is giving me trouble, so I'm going to have to come away off camera to try and get them to bite. Right, here we are. The C of G is 75 to 85 from the leading edge at the root. So it's not from here, it's from here at the wing root, back, 75 to 85, we're going to go 80. As it's a low wing aircraft, we're going to measure it from the top here, from this point. Let's see if I can get it right without stabbing it to death. Well that's about as much as I can do on that for now. Uh, I mean I could check the servos are centred, make adjustments as necessary, but I'm not going to. I'm going to take a break right now. Hopefully my receiver will arrive shortly, then we'll finish the job off. Could be a day or so for me, could be a split second for you. Three hours later. Good news, the postman delivered this to me today, an AR-410, super. This is in fact going to be better coming out under this now because then I can run it down the side here and just plug it in like that.
Well, I'm ready to bind. Doesn't matter what battery I use to do a bind. Let's get it connected. Okay, here we go. Okay, shall we see what we have? Let's put this down for now. Turn this around. Right aileron. So, again, this is wrong. The good news is they're level, but that's wrong, so we have to reverse the servo. Treble, sub trim, reverse, and that is the aileron. So that's right aileron, that's left aileron, that's great. Um, elevator, up elevator, ah, that's correct. Up elevator, down elevator, so that's good. Okay, then. Throttle cut off. Yeah, fine. All right, now we've got five minutes on the clock. I don't want five minutes. I'm going to bring it down to two to start. It's not long, I know. I just want to make sure I can test all the batteries out. Do a two minute flight on it, then see how much power is left in the batteries. We're all done. Just got to do the actual travels. I do have rates. But I haven't set them up yet. This is so versatile, I just had to show you this. This, I can get three different types of batteries in, and probably others as well. From this mark here, going towards the nose, I can put a 1300 mAh 3S 50C discharge battery in there. That's this one. Then this mark here. This is for a 1500 milliamp, which again goes there and comes down this way. 1500 milliamp per hour, 3S 45C discharge. And then finally, from this mark here, I can put a 2200 in. I had to cut a bit of foam off here and a bit of foam off there, these ribs. But I've cut that out to widen it. I can put a 2200 end here facing this way. And that's the Turner G Nanotech 2200 milliamp hour 3S 70C, 35 to 70C. So they're all quite high discharge batteries. And if I put the appropriate battery in the appropriate slot, the centre of gravity at 80 millimetres from the leading edge here is perfect. Receiver sits there very well, had to do a tiny bit of foam hacking, had to cut this piece out if I can get it in focus. See the rim there, just had to cut that out. These just sit there behind that battery, all there doing nothing. I am going to put a bit of hot glue on these just to keep them tucked away in that corner. You don't need to see me do that. That's it. And there it is, the Arrows Hobby T33, 50mm EDF. I'm looking forward to trying these out. I've just got to set the movements and then we're done. So thanks for watching, stay safe, stay well. Hope you'll come and join me on another video. I've got quite a few maidens uh, piling up to get done. So I'll see you down the field. Cheers.